Let us remain standing for a word of prayer. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you truly today to be found in thy house once again to offer praises unto thee Amen. and to assemble ourselves together as the word of God exhausts us to in this day and to come with open hearts, cleansed bodies and minds and souls to know that we serve a living God. Hallelujah. He's risen. Yes. He's, he's in our hearts. And we know because you have called us forth from this filth here in this world. Thou art keeping us alive in Christ Jesus. And though we uh, move about here, Lord, against the wiles of the enemy, we stagger not through unbelief. Hallelujah. But we are strong, giving praise to God. Yes. We can do all things through Christ Jesus from strengthening us. Amen. So, Father, this morning, may you give heart to the faint this morning. Jesus. Lift up the feeble arms and legs this morning. Amen. Heal the sick yes. and, and the brokenhearted. Yes. Stretch forth thy goodness and thy mercy, Lord. And God, thy people has gathered here this morning, not to hear from me, but, O oh God, to hear from the living God. Amen. For you said if your people would assemble, that you would pour out the water, the waters of eternal life. And, Lord, may thy word flow this morning. May rivers of living water flow into thy people this morning, Lord. And, God, may they be able to say that our hearts burn within us as you come down and speak to us by the wayside this morning. Lord God, bring such a faith in here, Lord God, that we would be able to go forth from here, Lord, conquering every devil, conquering every disease, conquering everything that would come against the seeds of God. Father, send thy presence out to those who could not be here this morning. Bless my family, Lord, that, that are waiting on the coming of the Lord. And all of those who are gathered around waiting on the coming of the Lord. Bless the strangers in, in the gates this morning, God. And be with thy people this morning and come and feed us by the wayside. But we pray and we ask it in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. You may be seated. We are certainly happy to be here this morning to offer up spiritual praises unto the Lord. And it's good to say that we're offering praises to the Lord, for this is the hour when the devil's trying to get us to offer praises to him. This is the hour when the devils are trying to make us bow down to his gods, to worship his image. But we are like the three Hebrew boys. We are persuaded. We shall not do it. Whether we live or die. Amen. We'll not give in. For our God is able to keep us. He'll take us through the fiery trial. And our clothes won't be burned. It won't smell because like fire. Amen. He'll bring us through smelling like a rose. A crushed rose. Praise the Lord. We're so happy to be able to give a testimony this morning. Though we stand in this pest house, we know that everybody here is sick. <laughs> Amen. And the enemy seemed like he's just uh, had a extra time on the little children the past two or three weeks, months or so. All the different little ones, babies and so forth, they're all sick and been smoked by the enemy. And Sister Coleman, she told me to send her greetings this morning as she's still saying amen. And though the enemy's got her down, but she still got a praise for God, and she wishes because she was here this morning. But it's just been one thing after another since October with Joanne. I think it's because it's going around about three times now. And Joanne, she come down again uh, just the other day, Friday. I think it was with, with 103. So we just don't know. We just keep moving. And then I, w I was able, by God's grace, to go through the whole past three months. And just Friday, I picked up a virus, and I have it now, a sore throat. So you pray for me this morning. But that's the way it is, and so we know that this is a pest house, and it's full of sickness and corruption. But he promised us, amen, that we'll have a body like his body. If we should die right now, this very moment, amen, we'll pass into another body. There's a tabernacle already waiting. But he put us in here for his glory. And don't worry, he's coming. Amen. For he promised. 
We can hear the old buckboard coming down the road right now. Amen. 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 It's the coming. Praise the Lord. Because he has already descended. Amen. He's on his way down. Amen. He sent down the shout first. Amen. And he's still coming down. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're happy this morning to give a testimony to God. And we were certainly uh, sorry to hear about <coughs> Brother and Sister Robledo's little uh, daughter, Damaris, because she had pneumonia. But uh, she's doing okay now. And so we continue to pray for her <coughs> and all the other little ones that the enemy has smoked. It's all for purpose. And so we know as we stay in God's will because he'll show us why. But uh, uh, if we suffer with him, we shall reign with him. And Paul wanted to know the fellowship of his suffering. And I believe that uh, because all Christians in this hour, we have to fellowship with him in his sufferings. Be baptized, immersed into his sufferings. And then we'll understand, see, and then we shall reign with him, see. So we just have to go through with this. And so now we are approaching a tremendous time. And um, I just thought at this hour now I was able to get a little time from the job. And I'm very tired. My mind is tired. And you know, you don't know what it is to come here Sunday morning and to face and knowing that wherever the word going forth, the light, the devil, all the demons gather right there to stamp it out. Yeah. And it just takes away everything, your mind, your strength, everything. And so I'm going to take a little rest. And I uh, always try to say that, always say that, but I never stop preaching. But uh, I have been led to stop preaching for the next uh, month or so. So therefore, this is the last time I believe, unless the Lord should change it, that I'll be here for a while. And Brother Hunt, he'll be here, and Brother Kurt. But I'll just be trying to rest my mind, see? So therefore, um, I thought, though, in doing so, that I would get a chance this morning to get in a few licks. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. See, because um, I still be in training, though. Yeah. See, but uh, right now, uh, get a chance to drop in a few licks to the enemy. Because we got to know uh, where we're standing at and what is going on. And we know all across the land and around the world that many people's hearts are stirred. And they all feel that something is fixing to happen this year. And even uh, I was noticing, if you'd been noticing how President Nixon, the many spiritual things which he's saying, call about the word of God and so forth. Last shall be first, first shall be last. And then he uh, made that tremendous point in his inauguration speech that um, if we'll stop uh, shouting and uh, listen to the words of the voices. And it seemed to strike everybody. And that's just what is going on spiritually also. The people, because in the message, been screaming and hollering about it says this because it says that. But if they would just hold still and listen to the still small voice, then they'll know what he said. Amen? So, because you know it was Elijah, God up on uh, Mount Horeb there was giving you a type that when our Elijah would come, it wouldn't be the fire, mm -hmm. the earthquake, the whirlwind, it'd be the still small voice. Because he uses, because the fire and earthquake also, because Elijah did all kinds of things, you see, called down fire and also killed the 400 prophets and so forth, because God uses that also, but in the season. So what he was doing was trying to drop in the fact that there would be a still small voice that would come to us way in the end time. And he dropped it in there for type. And so therefore, there's still those who are looking for the fire, the earthquake, and the whirlwinds and so forth. But the still small voice have, ha, has come, which is Christ. And so John picked it up because he didn't because do any miracles at all. Just, just, just the voice, the word of God. Repent. There's the voice of God. And so that is God's purpose, that that's why he took him up on the mountain, Mount Transfiguration. And there Elijah came back to witness that it, it was to be the still small voice. For God said, hear ye him. Amen. Hear him, the voice, the word of God. And so Elijah saw that, that come to pass. And here we are now, and everybody, though God even brought it back in type, because those three things struck Brother Brown's ministry also, the fire, the whirlwind, and the earthquake. And so, but when he come off that mountain out there in Arizona, everybody came in February to hear the still small voice. That's what we wanted to hear. So, therefore, those who are hearing it, you're blessed today. And, and God is moving you on. And like I was saying, so many people are waiting for different things, and they 
all are looking forward to something happening here in April, 69, which they know is a spiritual month. And I was just thinking how, how Israel took the Passover way back in April, and it, back in Egypt, and how they, they crossed the Jordan in April, and Christ was born in April, and the resurrection was in April. In 1906, April, the Pentecostal blessing was poured out, and in 1909, God's prophet, he was born in April. And all these spiritual things happened in April. I guess, I suppose, the people are wondering what is going to take place this April. And, and we see what is happening to California. The land is just getting loose yeah. there and just getting right for God's judgments. And we know that something is fixing to happen. Yeah. That we know. Whether it'll be the resurrection come forth, we don't know. We can't say. And many are looking for all kind of things in the resurrection. So we're looking for Jesus Christ. Amen. And I thought it was startling that knowing that in his judgment he comes w with earthquakes. Because back in Zechariah, I think it was about uh, a mount, uh, uh, all of it, because it would cleave when he would come back the second time. But if you notice, if, if you read in there good, it doesn't say that because it had to be an earthquake there. It just said that the land would be split. See? So the earthquake in itself could be somewhere else. <laughs> so, um, but, because in noticing that, I noticed that when the earthquake did come, um, that um, on the Good Friday of March 64, that there was an earthquake, and that was on, on Good Friday. And now we are looking, the people are looking for something to happen this time on Easter. And on the Good Friday, when that earthquake was before, Soon it was the earthquake, the veil rent. And wh who they thought because of what was behind the veil, because was not behind the veil. He was out on the cross. Amen. And Good Friday, 64, the veil rent. Amen. And then right behind that, in June 14th, the unveiling of the mighty God. Amen. Hope you catch. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So therefore, uh, just uh, God knows what he's doing. Amen. Exactly. Amen. And so we don't know what could be this Easter whether it has to be anything this Easter or not. But one thing we know, that something is fixing to happen. Amen. And what we want to do is to be prepared and to be ready. And God has, he can, can give us nothing greater than to prepare us than his word, Amen. the sword. So it is with that that we turn to the word of God this morning. Let us turn to 2 Timothy, the first chapter. I'm going to read the 13th and the 15th verses. Hope everybody's feeling fine this morning. Amen. Hope we have up the shades. Amen. Let the sunlight come in. Amen. 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 And whatever happened home, whatever happened on the road, on the subway, on the bus, leave it there. Amen. 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 We're here to worship the Lord now. Amen. We leave all those things outside. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That was yesterday. Forgetting the things that are behind. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Ephesians 6. Chapter 10th verse through the 17th verse. Philippians, the 4th chapter, the 13th verse. I like to title this, Forsaken, Then Crowned. Forsaken, Then Crowned. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed unto thee, keep by the Holy Ghost, which dwelleth in us. This thou knowest, that all they which are in Asia be turned away from me, of whom are Phygelius and Her uh, Hermogenes. And um, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, tenth verse. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breast 
breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. May the Lord a blessing to read of his word. Like I said, I like to title this Forsaken, then Crown. Now, um, we know what the word forsaken means, abandoned, desolate, forlorn, to leave, because uh, to renounce. And I was hearing a message the other day. You're trying always to find out what is going on. Where are you at? See, I was hearing the message of, of the prophet, um, present stage of my ministry. And there, he, he was making the statement there, and it stuck in my heart. I thought I would just come here this morning and just let the Lord elaborate on what he said there, because it's the word of God. He said, when a man stays true to the word, not just in, in one meeting, every meeting, when a man stands true to the word, the time will come when they will leave him. They'll leave him or her or whoever they are when he stands for the truth. Amen. They did it to the Lord. They did it to, from Noah all the way through. They will leave you when you stand with the word. They did it to Paul here, and that's what this is about, Demas, and these men here all in Asia, see? They do that because, see, God does that. It comes a time when he separates in the church, see? And they think that you're washed up when men begin to leave you. When men begin to talk against you and so forth, walk out of the church and so forth, and people begin to get cold and so forth and don't want to praise God. They say, well, it's all washed up. Begin to call you a denomination and so forth. You're all washed up. See, this has proven true all through the Bible. No matter how popular, because you may have been, and no matter how much you have tried to do, and how much they have seen God blessing you. See, but God said in the Bible, there's got to come a time when the spiritual ones who stand with that word hold true to it, they will forsake you. They will walk away from you. See? And so, um, Brother Brown was saying that you've got to hit that place for everybody hit it in the Bible. All the heroes of faith hit that spot. And it, you've got to hit it. You cannot bypass it. See? It's a lying vanity if you think that you can because, because go around it. Uh-uh. You must face it. Amen. So therefore, you might as well put on the helmet of salvation. Amen. Amen. You might as well begin to gird yourself up yes. with the breastplate of armor. Yes. Amen. And your loins girt with truth. Mm. Amen. You might as well put up the shield of faith yes. and take the sword of the Spirit in your hand yes. where it can do some good. Mm -hmm. Amen. For he said it in the seals there when that, that little group that can handle the word of God mm. put it in their hand, they'll be able to slice and cut and stop everything, whatever they want to stop nature. Amen. See? So it's usually such a time when man or the minister or the people have stayed true to the word and all man has, for, has because forsaken him, that God steps in. Amen. In their defense. Yes. Amen. 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 See? So, just like the song, They that wait upon the Lord. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Amen. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. They shall run and not get weary. Yes. They that wait upon the Lord. Amen. Are you waiting upon the Lord? Yes. Amen. Well, God has spoken. This is going to happen. For he has said so. And just a few types there. Nor. Stay true to what God said is going to rain. Amen. And the world system yeah. says it's not going to rain. Because yeah. there, there never has been any rain. Yeah. Science said so. But he stayed true to that message. Amen. And they all walked away from yeah. him. Yeah. Except those ordained to life. Yeah. And then when they had, because he stayed true to the word, they all forsook him. Then God came down in his defense and crowned him. Yeah with a ride in the ark over the judgments. Amen? Amen. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Just like because uh, uh, Moses, the same thing. After Israel has seen all the plagues, the, 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 the supernatural and so forth, and God got him into a spot like right now. See, favor on one side, the Red Sea on the other side. And then Israel said, why did you bring us here? We should have stayed back there and died back there. They forsook Moses. He said, why cry to me? Speak and move forward. Amen. Then God crowned him, took him right on through. Yeah. Amen. So therefore, we reach that time ourselves. Daniel was also because forsaken and thrown into the lion's den. Is that right? Amen. And when he was all forsaken, stayed true to the word of God, he would not worship those gods down there. Mm -hmm. and, and they sent out a supreme court uh, because of um, a decree that you can't pray no more in public, schools and so forth. But he just busted the window open and went out and could pray it anyway. Amen? Amen? Praise the Lord. Wake up now. Amen. Amen. So therefore he stayed true to the word and then they took him into the lion's den. That's just where God wanted him to prove that he's a God that can deliver. Amen? Amen. He, he gets you in there, into the den somewhere, where all the world forsakes you and laugh at you. Make sport with you like, yeah. like Samson. Amen. And then God comes on the scene. Amen. We feel right now like we're in the den. Amen. In the fire. Amen. Amen. In that great arena out there. Amen. And they're making sport. They're laughing. Where is your God? Amen. You believe this message back in 63 back there. Where is this, this God at? Amen. He's there. Amen. Listen to everything they're saying. Mm -hmm. And he is going to deliver. But he wants all man to forsake you first. Amen. He wants you to go through something first, the fiery trial. And then he can come on the scene and deliver you. Praise the Lord. So we see then that God crowned Daniel also, changed the king's heart, and said that this is the God that can deliver. And we see then that Jesus Christ, he embraced his cross. He was forsaken. And God crowned him on Easter morning and when he rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And we see right on down. And we come down here to our hour, Brother Branham, as we saw him. And here he was back in his second pull here. And all had forsaken him. When he went forward in his first pull, they all loved him. Popular, wonderful. See, humble like Christ. But when he began to prophesy and come down on that word, they begin to leave, just like he said, see? And then as he stood there, they, they thought he was all washed up, like he said, he was washed in, see? He was washed in. And then God crowned him with the third pull, the word of God. And Brother Brown made this quote, I, I hope he'll crown my ministry with this, by letting me take the clothes of the word and dress his bride in the clothes of the word and for his righteousness. I hope he'll crown me and let me stand there on that day and say, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Amen? Amen. And he did. Amen. He took the word, the seven seal message, Amen. and clothed the bride with the word. Amen. And all the bride had to do was to take off that old filthy rag from all the church. Amen? Amen? Come out of the world. And then step into this, into this clothing there. Just because put it on. Amen. Put on that garment. Amen. Amen. See? So therefore, today we say like Paul here, hold fast to the form of sound words, the outline, the pattern which you have heard. And we heard God's prophet bring us the form. Out of here he brought a message. It had a pattern. It had an outline. It was seven sealed vision. And by revelation, we saw it. And he says... To keep that good thing, because Paul gave two charges to Timothy here. He charged him to hold the form, hold the pattern, stay right with it. And to keep that good thing, the gospel, the word of God. And we have the same charge. For he said that in the end time, like it was in the beginning, the bride would be given a charge, the word. Amen. Eve had the same charge, but she fell. But he said that he would have a bride and she will not fall. Amen. She will hold to the word of God. So we see then that, uh, what about this bride today? Now, the bride today, just like Eve, 
was given that good thing to fortify herself with against Satan because God knew that Eve was going to face Satan. See? And she failed the test. Amen. Now, we were told that we are going to come face to face with the devil. Amen. Amen. See? And he laid it out for us through his prophet, each step along the way, each one of you are going to face Satan face to face. See? And, and, and he told that he fortified us with his word. Amen. Eve had the same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. She had the word of God, see? And he gave us the pattern to form the seven seal message. Say what it says. Mm -hmm. Just take it the way it is. For God knew, knew that somewhere along the line that the enemy would step up his attack mm -hmm. until it comes right on down to a uh, strong delusion. But he has because increased his attack. Now, the enemy this morning does not want me to say this. Right. I know that. Amen. But like I said, I'm going to get in a few licks Amen. by the grace of God. Amen. 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 So therefore, don't be fearful, for God has not given you a spirit of fear. Amen. He's given you a spirit of power, Amen. of love, yes, of a Lord. sound mind. Amen. Amen. For there's devils that want to hold you, that want to make you bow down to them. Amen. That's right. See, you can't see them. I just read it to you. You, you cannot see these things here. See, there's 200,000, thousand demons out there. You cannot see them. Amen. The only thing that you can do is to pray. Amen. Lord, lead me. Yes. Lead me through this way here. You can't see out there at all. But your understanding on the inside has eyes. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The Word of God. Amen. And those eyes is anointed. Yeah. When I sell, hey. that it may see, that it may know which cause way to go. So now, um, the bride knows she will face Satan face to face. She knows that she is in a conflict. Now, the bride knows by revelation, right now, she is defeating the devil Amen. by the word of God. Yes, she knows that, and she's marching on to victory. Amen. Amen. Though in this pest house, though knocked down and so forth, she's still marching on. Hallelujah. She knows that. Now she knows she is in a contest, which is a test of strength, a tug of war. On one side is the demons pulling you into his fire. Amen. On the other side is the bride pulling this way. And right now it's going this way, like this here. See? It's going back and forth. Amen? Amen. Now, if somebody back here misses the word in there, you fall down. See me now? So hold still. Stand. Amen? Just hold on to that rope and pull it. See, but you won't have to, to use your own strength, though, because we're going to show you why. See? Now, the great conflict started up in heaven when Satan was kicked out. Then, because he was kicked out, he became the, the enemy of God's people. And he has strength short of God's strength. Yes. Just remember that now. Amen. See? And therefore, it is his purpose to pull every one of us into his fire. But he can't do it. See? But there's got to be a battle. And we're in it now. And he, but this time is deception. Amen. See? So now, the word was the best thing. That's why that good thing. See? Mm -hmm. The best thing that God could give his people to because combat Satan. Now watch. The Word is God. Nobody is stronger than God. Amen. All right? And the Word is God, see? And the Word becomes our strength. Amen? Amen. Amen. God then is in His church, and He becomes the church's strength, for He's the Word. Amen. First, it was a part of the Word, justification, sanctification, the gifts. But then He come down Himself in the shell, the Word. And then the shout is the strength. Amen. That's pulling the rope. Yes. You follow me now, see? Amen. Therefore, God is in his bride now with strength, confirming her, holding still to the day of Christ. Amen. And she knows, and, and, because now watch, she knows that only as she believes the word, not try to figure it out, mm -hmm. but just believe it, that's her strength. Amen. See? There's your strength. Amen. Believe the word is your strength. Now, that's because simple, but that's what it is. See me now? So now, 
the tug goes on. Amen. And now the word has come, and watch, the main bout is going to come up soon. See, this is only the preliminaries. The main bout will be the world council versus the bride mm -hmm. in a battle. Amen? Amen? But God has already tipped us off. Amen. When an hour comes, watch the third pull. Watch the knockout blow at that time. Amen. But until that time comes, fortify yourself. Amen. Train. Amen. Know your enemy. Amen. 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 See, that's right. See? Now, study them out. Amen. See? Train for this great contest, just like fighters. See? Now, when a fighter in the natural is training, he wants to know his opponent's strength. So what does he do? He studies on film, if he has them, all his weaknesses and all his strong points. Whether he has a strong jab or left hook or right cross or uppercut, he studies the whole thing out. See? And he watches his footwork because even some old time fighters, there was a fellow I knew because Hurricane Jake, because he could just because fight with his head down and just watch your feet. And he, because he could tell by your feet what you were getting ready to do and then he'd hit you, see? So that's right, see the man now? So that's why our feet are to be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. And you can watch a man's feet to see where he's going at. Amen. You know what he's doing. Amen. 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 You can watch his feet. See? Amen. See if he go into because shady places. Amen. And you know uh, what kind of fight he's going to make. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now the fighters study out their opponents. Yeah. All right? Yeah. But the whole thing is that they are training for a knockout blow. Mm -hmm. See? Now, while we are studying our opponent... The enemy is studying our strategy also. Here it comes. The enemy studies our strategy with the word. He studies, he studies us out as we come to the Lord. John 3.16 or Acts 2.38. And he watches. See? He watches if we stay with that word. Or if we reason, affection, memory. He knows how to get you in the end. I hope you got that. Amen. He knows just, see, he's studying you out. He's just watching you. Watching your life, in the home, mm -hmm. on the job, Amen. wherever you are. Amen. The enemy is watching you. Amen. He knows just where to punch you out at. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. Yeah. See, he studies out the ministers because he want to get them first. Amen. See what kind of life they got. Amen. See if they go for popularity. Yeah. See if they go for women. Yes. See if they, they, they go for money. Yes. He knows just where to hang them up at when they come down the road. And he'll knock them out Amen. every time. See? He studies out the brothers in the church to see if they're jealous, humble, brotherly kindness. See if they're puffed up, want to preach and so forth and so on. Follow me now? Amen. He studies them all out to see where they're going. Amen. Now, you know what I'm going to say. Amen. He studies out the women see what, to see what they're doing. See if they love the fashions of the world. Mm -hmm. See if they want to because cut their hair and all these things that you study them out. See if they're lusting after because somebody else's husband. Mm -hmm. Study them out. Mm -hmm. Then he knows that he can use that nature down the line somewhere. Mm -hmm. He can use it. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, he don't want this said, you know. Now, I'm only talking about fighters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So he studies out the church to see who he can catch off guard, mm -hmm. to see who's weak in there. And he can send a, a, a doctrine through there. See? A wind of doctrine, catch him. Oh see me now? He got them all figured out because God's going to use him to shake them loose. They're still, because too many fall and shake them loose. Amen. See? And so, but now the bride knows that she's fortified with the word. Amen. Where you go, I'm going. With the word. Amen. Amen. See Amen. me now? So now, we see this Satan studies out the church. Satan studied out Adam and Eve as they walked through the garden. He watched them. Day in and day out. He watched them. He watched them. He watched them. Then he finally concluded that Adam was the seed of the word because he couldn't get him. Then he figured that, well, Eve is part of the word. I can get her. Just like today. Eve is the shuck. He can get her. 
But the bride today, not like Eve then, she is the word. Amen. For she's bone of his bone. Yes. Flesh of his flesh. Amen. Spirit of his spirit. Amen. Blood of his blood. Amen. Life of his life. Amen. She is the word. Amen. And Satan cannot get her. Amen. And he knows it too. And she knows that he knows it. That's why she walks out there with the word and stands there and chops those devils down. Now she will be forsaken for taking that stand though. Oh yes, praise the Lord. And they'll leave her. They will forsake her for taking that stand against the enemy. But she knows where she's going. By and by, amen. By and by, we're going to take a chariot ride. Amen, praise the Lord. I asked for not right. So now, he knew how to get to Eve with the best strategy that he could use on her. And that was to reason with the word. He got it. See? Reason with the word. Because the spirit of, the, of God is the seed in, because on the inside, inside. Out here in the mind is faith. Comes out here, see? And then either is faith here moving his body by the word coming because coming because into the mind or is reason one or the other and therefore the enemy he knows that so he come up and reason with Eve so Eve hit him with the word she said God has said that we should not eat from there he, but then he reasoned he said yeah, we know that God has said that therefore he preached see but see God knows that this way you'll know how to bring life see oh then I can go out west you mean and do it quicker. I don't have to because uh, I go to the cross and die. I can live in the flesh. You mean? Sure you can. Just wait for this natural thing. Be fine. You mean, in other words, if I uh, uh, cause, um, start abstinence because I can do it? Yes, yeah, sure you can. That's the way to do it. Any other way to do it, see? Something that you can do, see? When he's already done it. Amen. Just believe it. Amen. There's nothing that you can do. Amen. But believe on him that sent the word of God and hold to it. That's all you can do. That's all he wants you to do. Amen. See? So now, never reason with the word. Just believe it. Don't try to explain it. Don't try to figure it out. See? You cannot figure out God. When you believe it, that is your strength. That is, that's your strength right there. That's God right there in you. And the devil sees it because you believe it. I hope you see that. When you believe it, the devil knows you believe it. And he backs off. See me now? But he comes again with it, a different trial next day. See? It's a tug of war. Every day. So now, as we were saying, we, uh, like in training, you study all the moves, shadow boxing, body punching, all these things, but then you get a sparring partner. Is that right? And you get the best sparring partner that's just like your opponent, just like him, has all his moves. Is that right? So therefore, the best sparring partner that God could get today for us was false Christ. For the false Christ has all of Satan's moves. He's smart. He's slick. He's cunning. He's so sincere. He's handsome and sweet. And he got a, a, a nice gimmick for you. See anything now? So therefore, we go into the false Christ time and then we begin to spar with him yeah. and when we watch him we watch him we punch him and so forth we watch and we watch and that's what we've been doing now past few years hitting those false Christ here hit them over there yeah. hit them over there you follow me now see because see he's the closest thing to him Satan that's his emissary follow me now friends so therefore we are, are in training now right now and we're sparring see so now the enemy studies out our strategy. So the false Christ move in, trying to faint and bob and weave and hook and jab and move and cross, see? And we just, you know, see? Because we have been because trained well. And we, because counter him. Amen? Because count his punches, see? Now, we are standing right now. And we, and we have been in a battle right now. And haven't done all the stand, stand anyway. Because it's coming a great battle, see? This great battle. Main bout, the world council against the bride. It's coming up. Amen? Amen? So we've been sparring here with these antichrists and knocking them out left and right. Many sparring partners. 
Knock them through the ropes. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So now, um, God promised that the manifested sons would come back and take the kingdom back. Our inheritance is sonship. Is that right? Eat, with this eternal life, we are to be over this domain here. Mm -hmm. Join us with Christ. Amen. But it's got to be in the fullness of time. When the sons of God, the manifest sons, they come back and take back the kingdom mm -hmm. at the main bout. The spoken word is our knockout blow when the time comes. There's a, a real Christ, he's coming. And the bride is going to be in that place. See, watch now where he can use that body and fight his fight. Mm -hmm. Follow me now, friends? Praise the Lord. Okay, now, Christ then will use our bodies that's well-trained, that has eliminated all the waste and so forth, trained down fire. And when you're in training, because you, you're sure aren't back in the city. Mm -hmm. Amen, see? And so he'll use our bodies to bob, to weave, to faint in, in this main bout. Mm -hmm. But now, just our bodies now, see? That's well trained. He'll be the head. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And his head will tell this body when to bow. Amen. When to faint. Amen. And when to jab. Amen. And when to hook. Amen. Follow me now? Amen. The head will. It'll be in the ring. But we'll have his head. Uh -huh. Our body. And then he'll move this body into position. Yeah. For the knockout yeah. blow. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. He'll do it though. Amen. For he knows the enemy's weakness. Glory to God. And when the enemy coming with his knockout blow, Amen. strong delusion. Amen. See to me now? Before he can throw it. Amen. See to me now? The bride will knock him into yesterday. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love that. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Follow me now? But it's just a matter of hard, rigid training. You got to suffer in training. You can't lay around like this fellow over Italy did and eat all kinds of things and so forth. This is a big, because I forgot his name, this middleweight fighter, because he lost. He ate all kinds of food up here in, uh, because um, the boy spell up here. And he ate all kinds of things up here. See? And then when he got into the fight, he lost the battle. See? So now, but the bride, she won't do that. She's training now fine. She's going down. She's in trim. She's in great shape right now, but she, because maybe because she don't think so. But he knows she is. See, it's contrary to the flesh. See me now? You feel terrible. But he knows you're right on the dock. He knows you're almost ready for the main bout. When all the lights come on. The crowd is there yelling and waiting for the kill. Amen. At that hour, she'll come down the aisle. She'll take off her robe and walk out and face Satan. Amen. Face to face. He don't know what she got there. See me now? But that's the spoken word. The manifest of something. They'll take back the kingdom and knock Satan into yesterday. Amen. Praise the Lord. So now when Satan is ready, with all of his powers, signs, lying wonders, ready to deceive all with a strong delusion. Our head knows exactly when he's ready to do that. And at that hour, watch the third pull then. You watch it then, see. But make sure when you're watching it that it'll work through you. Just don't stand looking to see it over there somewhere. Make sure it is God working through you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So now, then when Satan is ready with a lion wonders, strong delusion to deceive all, a short time right in there, see, it's a short hour, like the, uh, the heavyweight fighters, the fight may last a round, knock them out right away. See what I mean now? It's going to be a short knockout, one round, that's all it's going to be. See what I mean now? Well, God knows that that's the hour when he will maneuver his body into position for the deal because knockout blow. She will be placed in position to throw the knockout blow at that time. See, because not before now. Then we will be in our place to meet the crises of the hour. So now we go with faith 
to handle the Word of God. Now watch. Because right now you're staying true to the Word, you are forsaken, you feel like everybody left you, cast down, that's exactly all through the Bible, that's yeah. ju just the way it was. Should it be any different because for us? Shall we go in on a flower bed of ease? But see, God has a far greater purpose because for you. See, back in Paul's time, and all the, uh, the early Christians, their greatest desire, their greatest joy was to die a martyr. See, that's exactly right. Uh, uh, because Paul wanted to, uh, Peter wanted to, to be, uh, because crucified upside down. Because it wasn't worthy. See, they all wanted to march into that arena and die a martyr's death. And they shouted and screamed and sang to the Lord as they stood there under the power of God and gave because of their lives. That had to be because the corn wheat had to go in the ground. Mm -hmm. But this time, the greatest desire, the greatest joy for the bride today is to come through these past years holding to the word of life. Yeah. Being that beacon yeah. that will stand in that hour yeah. with the word. That has not because defied herself with that word. See what I mean now? And she'll stand there and be crowned in his glory at the end time. Because there's got to be a bride that will stand on this earth and be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. That's our desire. That's our reward to stand here on the earth here. And to face the enemy with this knockout blow. That's for now. Back there was different. See? So now, the bride now knows that she needs some more strength. See? Some rapturing strength. To, because take her out of here. So therefore, she's only waiting for the sound of the rushing of the wind in the top of the mulberry tree. When he says, go out. And he goes out before, then you go out. Until then, you wait. You train. You move. You die out to the flesh you're waiting. But you know when he says, move out, you move out. Amen. Yes, sir. See, so while we're waiting for the sound of the voice in the top of the tree, we press the battle. We stand to the word of God. Amen. Now the bride that stays true to the word, housewife, old, young, men, ministers, whoever you are. See, if you have added the clothes of the word to your faith, see, if you have put on these clothes and added to your faith, virtue and patience, all these things there, see, and then... We know because we are individual pyramids. Is mm, that right? All of us is a pyramid. And there's seven steps in that pyramid. Therefore, we're waiting for God to cap off our life. The pyramid. Each one of us. He is to come and be our head. Cap it off. Amen? Praise the Lord. See? So now, it's when we are forsaken at this hour now. When men walk away from you, curse you, say all manner evil about you. The bride rejoices, for she knows she's reached the hour. Amen. 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 When she's ready to be crowned, when that time comes, and we're in that hour right now. Amen. See me now? There's something fixing to happen. And that's when he will crown your life with the glory of the word. Here's the word, but it's full of glory. From one glory to another glory. Amen. Amen. And we're waiting for the fullness of his glory to come and crown our lives with that glory. Amen. See? Now, because in, in closing, <coughs> praise the Lord. Now remember, there will be a nightmare going on at this time. See? Now you may say, well, why are you so zealous to always lay on that word and keep rebuking and reproving and correcting with all long suffering? Well, I thought about the other day. I was talking because to my wife. I said, now look at this. I said, the... This terrible condition that we're in here, if Brother Branham didn't stand out there oh. on the word yes. and didn't listen to those popularity devils, nice. don't preach this, don't say that, see them in there, and didn't tell us about the women and all these things, and the ministers and the false Christ, if he didn't do it, where would we be today? Amen. So far be it from me to back up now. Amen. Amen. So therefore, he did it, Paul did it. Peter did it, all the heroes of faith did it, therefore by the grace of God, Amen. if I got a little bit of voice, I want to stand and yes. proclaim Amen. that word. Amen. I want to tell the citizens, if yes. they have strayed away to the world, repent yes. and come back to God. Yes. 
for if you don't, it's like a dog turning into his own vomit. Mm. A pig wallowing in his own slop. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Plain and simple. When God had been, would been, be so gracious to mm. come down himself on the earth, yeah. his spirit, and hide it behind human skin, mm. show us all kind of things out here, mm. and then back up from the word of God. Mm. See? That's our calling. Yeah. And therefore, I don't care how many devils mm. sit there in the church. Yeah, the, because three Hebrew boys, they were told to worship gods mm -hmm. and the image. Mm -hmm. Now, the same devil is trying to get us to worship the same gods, Antichrist, mm -hmm. and the image. Mm -hmm. Same thing. And now these gods are men trying to be like Christ, mm -hmm. coming with, because their own teaching, worship them. Mm -hmm. See me now? And we'll not do, we'll knock them out. Yeah. Because in training. Amen. Yes, sir. So now we see then, so you may wonder why, why is so, because hard, why is so pinchy? Here's why. Now, you watch. There's going to be a nightmare. Where at? Not in your sleep on the bed, on the earth. God works in threes. Now, you know yourself that sometimes uh, when it's time for you to go to sleep, because you lay down, and you're not sleeping, and because you're not awake, because you're in between, twilight zone. And there, all kind of things happen to you. Scream out all kind of horrors. It's a nightmare. That's number one. That's you here on the earth. The other nightmare is hell. There's because seven dimensions. And we here in the third dimension here. The fourth dimension is radio and TV and so forth. The fifth dimension is hell. That's a nightmare also. Here's why. A man's time is up on the earth. He cannot sleep in Jesus because he is not converted. There's no blood to take him there. So he got to leave the earth because he don't want to leave, but he got to go. Those demons are waiting with the chains to because drag him away, his soul. He's got to go because his time is up. And he can't go into the sixth dimension up, the, up on the altar there. He can't go there. There's no blood for his soul. Where can he go? To hell. To wait. For the judgment. But while in hell, there's a nightmare going on. That's number two. Number one is a man laying on his bed. That's one nightmare. Follow me now, friends? The other one is when he goes into hell. His time is up here. He can't, he got to go, he's got to leave the earth. Time is up. But he can't go into God's presence. He laughed at the gospel. He mocked it. He scoffed at it. Now, where is the other nightmare? The prophet said, by the form of his words. The hell is going to be on the earth. The nightmare is going to be here. The mental condition will bring the nightmare on the earth. They will go crazy. They will scream. They will swear that because they're seeing ants because 20 feet high. Locusts with long hair stinging the women for slipping off the hair. And all these, it'll be in their mind. They'll be walking the street naked screaming up and down because sodomites, devils, yes. it's coming, friends. Yes. And you want to know why I'm holding to the word of God? Yes. Brother, I don't want to be here. Yes. It's, you know why it's coming? For time is up. Yes. Time shall be no longer, so saith God. Yes. He says the time is up. And therefore, you man, you cannot stay on this earth no longer for you have polluted this earth. Yes. And you've got to go. Now, but instead of taking you right into hell, I'm going to judge you here for three and a half years on this earth here. I'm going to bring all kind of horrors on this earth, and you're going to want to die and scream out, and you cannot die. I'm going to bring it right here. Now you want to know why hold to the word, hold to God's unchanging head? Brother, we better check up. This is no plaything. This is a battle, and this devil with lying wonders, he's coming to, and he will deceive all. Amen. whose names is not written in the Lamb's book of life. Now you can go on and fool around and go back in the world and cut your hair, raise up your skirts or mend what you want to do if you want to, but you will be in a nightmare. Amen. And it'll be worse for you, Amen. for you know better. Amen. For you heard you was in God's presence. Amen. You saw the glory of God. You ate the manna. You shouted. You saw the healings. Amen. And then you turn around and you walked away from yeah. God's presence, there's no more sacrifice for you. Yeah. Nothing but the fiery judgment of God 
to keep you here for three and a half years and judge you. Now that's the Bible. Amen. And that's what we are preaching to you this morning. Amen. To line up with the word of God. This is not because it's not me telling you that. It's, this is the message. Amen. This is the core Amen. of God coming down to call his people Amen. out. Amen. 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 Praise our God. Then you see people repent and turn around and go right back to the same muck and mire. You say, God, what is happening? God, be merciful to them. Yeah. What is wrong with their minds? They're going insane. Mm -hmm. And they come into God's presence, lusting around and wanting this and wanting that and laughing in your face and talking about you and everything else. You know what's going to happen to them. Oh. You, can see, you can see it right now. So what happens now? The end time. Remember, there will be a, that's the third nightmare. In your sleep, in hell, on the earth. Number three. He brings all three. Amen? Amen? See? The time is up. He said himself, time shall be no longer. Your time is up. In the fullness of time, he gathers all things in heaven and in the earth, the bride, into himself. And then the judgments fall on the rest. Now, there's three crownings. The bride, her life, she's adding virtue, patience, temperance, knowledge, godliness, Brotherly kind of, that's her life that he gave her, the strength, the word. You could do it if you want to, you can laugh at it. But then, because she does that, he slips down in all his glory. Now watch. The earth is now the setting. First is the mind. Then the earth becomes the setting. Then, the battleground. This final blow. This final bout. Then God brings all of the power. Amen. That's in the kingdom. He brings the angels. They come also. And the bride is ready. She has a spoken word that comes to the earth. Then the devil brings up all those demons in hell. All those filthy devils walking in the street. They're all on the earth. And there they meet face to face. The bride meet them for a short time. Then he crowns her life with his life. His self, himself. And gives her a body like his body. He changes it in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Now there's only two more crownings. The foolish virgins who play around, who laugh, or maybe because they don't have the revelation, and so forth, they, it's just not God's election. They, the only way they can escape it, because I said, because uh, over here in Revelation um, 14, I believe it is, Revelation 14, 9, I think it is. Are you with me? Amen. Revelation 14, uh, 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, now this was this third angel screaming, don't worship the beast, nor his image, nor the mark in his hand. See? And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they, sh that they may rest because from their labors their works do follow them. Your work comes right to you, the bride. Their works follow them. Therefore, they have to crown their life with their own life. Because Christ's life is, is, is not there for them. And it, the rest of the world... They crown their life with Satan's life. He floods his sperm into them, his own nature, and deludes them all. And he has his bride here, the world consul. He has his legions of demons, the Pope and all these men. They're all, they're all here. And he has the sodomites running up and down. I was reading because some stories of the things that they're going to do to these Christians. Put them into all kind of sodomite acts and everything else or force them to. All kind of things because they're going to do it to them in a short time. I ain't trying to scare you. I'm only trying to tell you these things, is, this is real. Amen. This is a nightmare. Yeah. And they're going to have to die to go out of here. Therefore, you can die now to this world. You can die to this world, to the fashion of this world, to the things of this world, to everything here. You can die to it right now. And then you can live unto Christ, be alive unto God. Or you could still dilly-dally. Flip, flap around, go on, hallelujah, praise the Lord. And then one day, the bride is gone. Dead in Christ comes. You ain't going to know it. For it says that, that they appear to the bride. That's right. And they tell the bride that the rapture is at hand. It's a secret coming. So it only comes to the bride. There's a resurrection power ministry coming. That's to the bride only. For Christ's ministry, on, because on the earth, was to everybody. But when he rose from the dead, that was only the bride. That's all. 
So therefore, only the bride will know he's even back here in resurrection power. The rest won't even know it. And they'll go right on preaching. They'll go right on shouting, screaming, and hollering, preaching the same message here. But the bride will be walking humble. Walking humble. Say nothing. Waiting for that knockout blow. God bless you. Forsaken, but crowned. Walking on with her cross. That hour is coming, friends. I'm living for it. I'm looking for it. I don't care who says what. If nobody want to pray, if they don't want to worship God, you don't have to. See me now? But there's a nightmare coming. And you're in it right now. You can see it out here yourselves. Now open your eyes and see it yourselves. And then think what God is doing for us. And then we fuss at God. See? Give glory to God. Thank him and praise him. Yes. He's doing this for a purpose. He's making us die in, in this nature here. Lord. That's what he's doing. It's die to the things of this world here. So the end time brings to the earth the glory of God and hell on earth. Both of them together on the earth. Yes. Brings both of them back here. The glory of God for a short time. Yes. And this knockout blow comes. The sons of God take back the kingdom. The manifest son and the way they're going. They, they, they take an ass not right. Yes. And the power of the Holy Ghost. And they're gone. The countdown is on. The fire takes them up. The rest of them here are left to Satan and a strong illusion goes out. Now you cannot withstand it. See? When the devil loses this, they're already because being because uh, deluded right now. See? But there's got to be another falling away. It's coming. See? So therefore, those who have stayed with this message the past three years or so, since 66, they've been laughed at. That ain't the message. You got to do so and so. You got to go over here. And, and many have even walked away from here and cursed you. That's right. Cursed you. Said that ain't nothing. Their denomination walked away from it. They failed to see the blood atonement. Just like Balaam. He looked at Israel at the way they look. But he didn't see that because blood atonement there. He looked at them. So others look at you. What kind of group is that there? They don't see that blood hanging there. The word. Day in and day out. The word. Amen. The word is there. That blood sacrifice is there. They don't see them people dying out to these things here. But let me tell you one thing. The nightmare is here. It ain't coming. It's here. You see it now. I think uh, Brother Hunt just gave me an article in a Christian uh, booklet. Newsweek said the miniskirt was designed to entice the men. I'm just saying plain. See, into the bed in the daytime. Now, a Christian woman that would raise up your dress, who are you trying to entice in the daytime? In the daytime. Christian woman with the message, the blood of God. Who are you trying to entice with your short dress or the fashions of this world? The men. Who else? Got to. See? And he said, watch that. You see the church. Then when you see that lovely bride washed out, that's got no desire in there for somebody else's husband or want this over here, just Christ. Just the word hanging. I'm speaking very plain today. I won't see you for a while. I want you to know exactly what is going on. See? And so, so therefore, forsaken, then crowned. Now, this is not popular. Nowhere in this message. And you know that. <laughs> you, uh, come here, brother. <laughs> this what I'm going to preach. We don't want to preach that there. No, sir. You can't preach this here nowhere right. in this message. Amen. You better not. Right. You better tell them how this is going to happen here and this great thing is going to happen there. That's, all, that's enough. We, can we have our own tapes? Yeah. That's right, see? But he said, preach the word Amen. in season, out of season, Amen. rebuke and correct with all long suffering. Why? There's a nightmare coming. Amen. I don't want to be in it. If, I, if I've been because given a charge, I'm going to stand true to that charge. Amen. No matter if everybody walk away, if all leave, I'm going to hold on to the word. That is the only thing that will take us out of here. I've said these things to shake you, to waken you up. Because a nightmare, people scream and holler and horrors and things go on. Is that right? Well, then they're down in hell now. Brother Brown told you he went down there. And woo, 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 all kinds of things go on. He said, it was, he can't even describe the feeling. Well, that's coming on this earth. And I don't want to be here. They said that they'll hunt down the foolish virgin like dogs and kill them down like dogs. You say, well, how can that be? Strong delusion comes up on them. It happened once before. Swear that they're, they're doing God a service. That's exactly right. See? 
So once in a while we tell you these things so that you might know and understand that we're just not up here playing games. This is real. We're fighting a real devil. And he, he's going to take as many of you in this tug of war. And as we hold on to this rope right now, see, just like this here, there's somebody coming down on the end of it and yank it. Give it a real pull. Amen. That's right. Praise the Lord. He's coming. He's going to give that a real tug. And you see them demons go scurrying all along the ground, falling down and all like this here. That's right. I'm going to blast those devils out. When a man has the spirits in them, these demons, and they are cast out, he's clean. Walks in dry places. But, okay, if he repents, that's good. But then fill up that place with the word. Amen. Because if you don't take in the word right away, seven more demons come in. That's right. And then you're worse than what you was before. Yeah. Exactly right. Amen? Amen? Do you love them? Yeah. We're in a battle, friends. But he has already overcome. Yes. There's coming a nightmare. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit told me to tell you these things here. So I'm telling to you. I know it's not popular, but I ain't looking to be popular. I'm looking to stay with that word. Amen. This is what the prophet had to preach. Amen. He had to walk into his own tabernacle and say, no, if it not. They said, who's he talking to? Talking to them in the tabernacle. Right in the tabernacle, cutting the hair and wind, falsies, all kind of things, right in the tabernacle. And he had to preach it right there. And, and but he said, the Methodist woman, they didn't catch it, see. So therefore, God, the grace of God has kept this church clean. It's been his grace now, see. His word and his grace, because his, it's not me or Brother Hunter, Brother Kurt, nobody here. It's his grace. He have a clean place. And we recognize what it is. It's a place where the word can go forth. I don't care. I don't, I'm not interested in who says that you ain't this or that. That doesn't bother me at all. That's got it. Those spirits must be here. So when I see them, I shout. Praise God. Well, here they are, right here. See them now? Follow me now? I just go right on, see? Just treat them with love and keep moving. See them now? And they, no matter what they say against you, that must be. But God has kept this place here clean. By the grace of God, we want to keep this place clean till we leave here. That it be a clean place if two people want to hear the gospel. It would be a place that you won't have to because climb over devils to get in here. Bob, man, just walk in, take your seat, and say, glory to God, the Holy Spirit strike you. Praise God. Amen. See me now? So every once in a while, you got to come out and cut that flesh out. Chop it down, see, with the word. See me now? To keep a clean place, a testimony of the message. So you may be forsaken, so you think so. You may feel like because you're washed in, washed out, but you're not. That's just where he wants you at, then he'll crown you. Crown you with himself. Do you love him? Praise God. And think about it now. These people, the judgment on the earth here, they can't go to heaven. And, they, and because they can't go to hell, they got to be here for judgment. And the only ones who can go out is to die with their own lives. And their bride, she goes out, she goes up, for she has a place to go to, into Christ. She's in Christ. And he gives her his glorious body. Amen. So therefore... These little things of the flesh denying these things, brother, that's nothing. Uh, to me, it, it don't mean a thing. Uh, yeah. And every sister here, God bless you. You have a husband that, that has given you a trial. Where else would you get your trial from? Now you tell me. What would you do? See? Where are you going to get your, because of your, because your, to the trial from? It's ordained of God. You are to believe for his salvation. That you're sanctified, you keep him sanctified. For the hour is coming, like Brother Branham's dream, where God told him there was Mrs. Fenton and those people there in the house of hell. It's in his dream on the works his faith express. And he said, I can't do anything myself, no strength. He says, speak in my name. He said, house of hell, give way to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The walls come tumbling down. And the people come out delivered. And I believe that the name of God will deliver the people one more time. There'll be one more ride. I believe that God will speak through his bride to bring deliverance. So you got to believe. By, uh, uh, other words, faith is, you can't see no kind of way out of it. That's what is faith. See, when you can't see how to get out of it, God said so. Then that's faith. But if you can see how to get out of it, that ain't no faith. 
Is that right? Amen. What kind of faith is it? If you know all you got to do is go to the city over here and sit down and wait and hallelujah, glory to God and see? Faith. No, sir. Faith, the, the faith is like what they had. They didn't understand the Lord. But Lord, where could we go? Yeah. Thou alone has the words of eternal life. Amen. 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 So we thank the Lord this morning to know where we stand. So I say to the old people, to the young people, if I never see you again, see, there's coming a nightmare on this earth, and I have not failed to, because declare to you the gospel, Amen. the message this morning, see, and therefore whatever your condition you're in right now, repent from that, if you're entangled somewhere, and get right with God, see, because he's coming forth soon, when he comes forth, he brings the dead in Christ with him, this is coming, see, and he said before that, that California would sink, now I don't understand it, he said, before he comes on this tape, who do you say he is in 64? He said that I predict California will sink before the coming of the Lord. And when God comes, he brings the dead in Christ with him. See? So therefore, now how close is this earthquake? And what does all, because these things mean here in April, all like, I don't know. See? But I know one thing, something is fixing to happen. I know another thing, there's a strong delusion ready to go forth to that all those that Satan has with his strategy watched them. Therefore, the mercy seat is in the word, God unveiled. So therefore, the blood's in this word. And you come to this word for the blood of God, for the mercy of God, and repent. That's all I can tell you, see? And until that time, let us draw close to the word of God and add to your faith his life, his sperm, his nature, his blood. And then let him come down to capstone and cap it and then let him place this body into position mm -hmm. with the enemy and then let him throw that knockout blow. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Until that time, oh, we march into Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching up what to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Page four, we march in design. Do you love them? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank the Lord to know the word of God, Amen. to know where I'm standing at, Amen. to know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for Jesus, Amen. the author and finisher of my faith. Amen. And having done all the stand, Amen. Amen. Stand anyway. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And then one day with your hand up, Amen. praising God, Amen. one day he'll drop a glistening Amen. silver sword into your hand. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then he'll slice and cut and do everything. Amen. Amen. Until that time. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, we that love the Lord. Let our joy be known. Joining in a song with sweet heart. Joining in a song with sweet heart. And the song around the throne. And the song around the throne. Oh, in my hand you die. Beautiful, beautiful that I am marching up with to Zion, the beautiful city of God. Let those beautiful things be Amen. The children of the heavenly King may sing of the heavenly king may speak their joys of God may speak their joys of God oh in my hand to Zion beautiful beautiful I am talking up with the Zion the beautiful city of God, the hill of Zion, you are found in sacred trees. Before we 
out those false Christ while we're sparring with him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Press the battle. No matter if mother, father, whoever leaves you, whoever forsakes you, that's got to be. That is your cross and you must pick it up. That's exactly right. In other words, uh, the, uh, uh, my condition now, could if it could have been better, then he would have given it to me. He could, he'll give you all things. Is that right? Then he must know exactly what I need today. And then I'm, my feet is shod with the preparation. I'm standing on Emmanuel's ground. Well, then having done all the stand, stand there for. Amen. Know that you're in the will of God. Then he will come and crown you. Amen. With his life. I'm looking forward. And what is to bring on the nightmare? Mental condition. Exactly right. The mental, the prophet told us that in Revelation, those are not physical, those are spiritual things over there. And the, the LSD and all these things is bringing it in now, and they will go insane. They're completely nude, all kind of lewd worship and everything else, the devil, and you see it coming. And what is to go mental? The movies come in with all kind of perversion. It's, it's here now, and 69 is bringing all four. It's here right now. Then here's uh, President Nixon, his great friend is the angels of Sodom, Billy Graham. Now that couldn't just be happening that way, and they've been friends for the past 20 years, and his theme is uniting. Is that right? Uniting, bring the country together, bring it in with the church and state all together. See? And that's the same theme of God, uniting, but the devil with his perversion. And therefore we are in the hour, friends, see? And so two things is to happen. The glory of God is to come to the earth. And the, all the hell is to come up on the earth, right here, see? And hell is to be here for three and a half years. And only the those who keep the commandments of God and hold on to the testimony of Jesus Christ can escape it outside of the bride who goes up. Don't you want to be in the bride? Yeah. Amen? See? Well, praise God. Just to hold, believe this message with all your heart, <coughs> die out to this world, and say, Lord, lead me. That's all. And it tells you, well, you say, how should I be? 
Well, because in closing of Scripture, Ephesians 4 tells us uh, in the 15th, the 15th verse, but speaking the truth, see, speaking the truth, holding the truth, see, or walking in the truth, see, in love. The love must come, see, and then when the love comes, speaking the truth in love, walking in love, acting in love, talking in love, amen, see, uh, see, may grow up into him in all things. He's the head. And he wants the preeminence because of Colossians in all things. So we have to grow up unto him in all things, see, with love. And that's it. That's the, uh, the brother man told us that nothing but perfect love will take it to that place. That right? And he drops down his perfect love on the bride. And as she goes forth in love, forsaken, but he'll crown her one of these mornings. He's going to crown her. Amen. So right now, in the congregation here, you try to live godly, and maybe somebody might laugh at you. It's all right. You know what you're doing. See me now? They might think you're old-fashioned, whatever it is, see? And think, because you're always trying to be right with the word and so forth, do things right. See, and they laugh at that. They say, oh, you don't do all that. You come saved. That's the devil. See me now? Trying to get you off. See me now? Do, uh, be about your father's business. Do everything right. Because by the grace of God, try to do it, see? He knows your heart. God knows your heart. You love him? Amen. Praise God. He loves us this morning. He wants you to know that though you feel forsaken, the crowning is coming. And every servant of Christ comes to that point. And I believe the bride is just about in that situation now. The crowning, he will crown us with the glory of the word of God. And you'll see the life of Jesus Christ on the earth once again. Same ministry, same power. And then as she nears the headstone, she does the very acts of God on the earth coming right down like him, and in the fullness of time, he gathers all things in heaven into himself, and I believe at that knockout blow, it'll come. At that time, the Christ himself will be right in that bride, it'll be him, and he will create right through our lips. That's our promise, friend. Therefore, you, you have nothing to do but present your body a living sacrifice, holy and undefiled, which is only your reasonable service for the head. Now, remember, we'll because maneuver and position the body in the fight, see? And the head knows all of Satan's, of Satan's moves. What he's getting ready to throw, a left hook or right, the head knows what he's going to do before he do it. Because it has discernment. Amen? So before he beat him to the punch. Amen? Praise the Lord. Shall we stand?